much sometimes I do write down most of my stuff like on as y'all be peeping in my blogs like I write down most of my I guess to-do list on paper and I just be on the go so much I still do it sometimes but I like to have it on my phone to be able to just swipe it off to end it and move on to the next and sometimes I don't like to be able to you know what I'm saying bring in a whole notebook in the car and stuff like that but I mean it's not nothing wrong with it I guess I do still feel satisfied like you know what I mean you writing stuff down it's writing is definitely better than the phone but but yeah, man, as y'all just saw, I just want to give a thanks to AG1 by Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. I got it right here right now. I drunk it already. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to give y'all a little taste test for real at the end so y'all know, you know what I mean, how it tastes and stuff like that. But basically, Athletic Greens is a nutritional drink that has pretty much everything. I can't even lie to y'all. You know what I mean? So they got all the minerals, all the probiotics. And I'm saying all the vitamins all in one drink and it's quick and simple and easy man I feel like that's the main thing because I know a lot of people got different schedules like on my schedule I'm able to wake up and be able to you know what I'm saying wash my greens juice everything and I mean and just go about my day and I know a lot of people don't have that so sometimes I know it's really not as convenient to be able to wake up do all that stuff in the morning so if you're on that type of time you know what I'm saying definitely tune into this because I feel like it's convenient it's simple as y'all saw all you do is take a scoop Put it into your spring water, whatever type of water you use, eight ounces. And then you just be able, like I'm doing right now, you just shake it up, drink it on an empty stomach in the morning or whatever routine you do and just go about it in your day. The thing about AGI too is it diet friendly. So if you're vegan like me, vegetarian, you know what I'm saying? Keto is diet friendly for all those, man. So it's definitely good to wake up in the morning, do something quick. Like I say, I'm gonna keep saying simple and easy because I know everybody likes simple and easy. So to be able to do that in the morning, and just, you know what I mean, be about your day is definitely good to be able to get all your nutrition and everything in the morning. And all the nutritional factors, it got a whole bunch. I'll just give y'all little key things, but it also, like I said, it got everything in this thing, man. So you get all your nutritional value, all the things that you need for your body, and just one drink. This drink is good for your energy, it's good for recovery, it's good for liver function, it's good for gut health, it's good for brain health. As you can see, it has a lot of good factors, definitely good for your body, man. And I'm about to give y'all a little taste test real quick. Cause I know everybody is always big on taste. Like, nah, I ain't doing this. It tastes nasty, this and that. And I heard a lot of reviews on it, and everybody, everybody was basically saying the same thing. So I already knew it wasn't even gonna be something bad. And then I'm already used to green juices and stuff. So really, nothing can really phase me. You know what I mean? So yeah, man, it just pretty much tastes like a, like a just a. I can't even really explain. It don't taste bad at all. So yeah, man, I just want to give a thanks again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Also, I'm gonna leave the link down below and in the description box. And on the first purchase using my link, you get five free travel packs and also a one year supply of immune support and vitamin D3 K2. And I know a lot of people pretty much kind of lack on the vitamin D3. Definitely go check that out. Just click that link and it comes with it on your first purchase. So and thank you for working with me. And yeah, man, we finna go work out real quick. I'm finna down the rest of this and yeah, man, we're finna be about our day. Wait, I met this girl when I was 
12 years old. Give her everything just shot of the world. Could it get a grip every time? I try to hold on, I slip. Deep in this feeling that gravity pulls me down. I know I'm tripping, I'm falling in love with the drum breaks. She keep me safe from the gunplay when I'm hungry. She feed my soul when I'm lonely. She keep me calm, late. it's funny. I used to want to grow older, travel with sight in these rounds. So they realize that she got me out of my mind. I'm trying to kick these nerves to grab hold to the microphone. Got them nodding along. Maybe she'll save the world for me. Maybe she'll right my wrongs if I'm coming on too strong. Oh well, only way to tell is by saying this how I feel. And that's real What's good, you man? I'm about to make a uh, smoothie in a little minute. This morning I had, so like when I be working out and stuff, like since I be doing like, I guess alkaline stuff, you low key gotta get like a lot of calories in. So you know I'm saying like you gotta slick overload on fruit and vegetables. You know what I mean? So this morning I had uh, the athletic greens thing. And then after that, I had juice the melon. So before I work out, I had like a melon juice. Juice that, drink that. Uh, and then I'm gonna go work out. And this smoothie, I already like, it's kind of the same thing. I usually put blueberries, but I ran out of blueberries. I gotta go to the uh, grocery store and get that. But it's gonna be simple. I gonna see what I uh, put in that for sure. Yeah, I gotta get a lot of calories in. Cause when you work out a lot, like, of course you like, you burning it. So, you know what I'm saying? Especially with fruit and stuff, it's even, it's probably <laughs> worse cause you be burning it more. So you just gotta keep, you know what I'm saying? Keep eating the calories and stuff, but most of the time, pretty much be good for if I don't really, uh, like I don't really trip on it about losing weight. I was on, like I say all the time, I was losing weight because I was doing like that, that fast. So I really wasn't eating as much as I am now type deal. But yeah, I'm about to do that. Do the smoothie, I'm gonna wait a little bit and then stretch and stuff and then I'm gonna go work out outside. I'm trying to get all that stuff, all the workouts and stuff. I like to do it all in the morning. I'm saying get that out the way and then you got the rest of the day to do the, you know what I'm saying, the other stuff with it. I still got to go get groceries and stuff too. I don't know if I said that. I probably did. I didn't really record that much when I was hooping, so that's on me. Y'all already know I usually get like the whole, you know what I'm saying, the whole workout and stuff, but uh, this is like a new facility and stuff. And I know, bro, I, I've been new, bro, but it's first time going, so I want to just kind of just, you know what I'm saying, get into work and then get out of there. But uh, next vlog or something like that, I'll record more. But I did get a, flu a few clips, as y'all saw. But yeah, man, I just wanted to say that. So I apologize for that, but you already know I got y'all. Oh, yeah.
to the grocery store right now. Y'all just don't understand, man. Like, it just be so much of a vibe. Like, I'm just going to get groceries, bro. Like, and it's just so nice outside. Like, it just feel like I can't even really explain, dog. But y'all remember when I did say, if y'all go with, like all the way back to my vlogs and y'all been watching Free Free and paying attention, you know what I'm saying? Like, I been said I was about to do this too. Like, I been said I was going to move to Orlando. Like, I was in Belgium. And I was like, yeah. Did that man, and like it just feel crazy that I'm here. And it only gonna get, you know what I'm saying? It's only gonna get crazy and crazy in a good way. Next thing, I want no track or nothing. I just want like a smooth little, you know what I'm saying, Grand Cherokee Jeep. But I want it, I want an SRT. But if not, you know what I'm saying? I don't really, I ain't really tripping. But yeah, definitely a Jeep though for sure. That's on my mind. That's gonna come down the road, and I'm telling y'all that now. So when I, when it do happen, and you know what I'm saying. Y'all gonna know I said that, but I, I've always been wanting that, wanting that since college. I drove one in college, and, and I drove one over here in New Smyrna, too. And that jump be a vibe, for real. I like to sit high with it, too. The Kia, it's, I, I still like my Kia, of course. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. It's my mom did give me, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep this to the, <laughs> the wheels fall off, though, for sure. But, uh, yeah, man, like, it just, I don't know, bro. I feel like, like, God doing something big this season, you know what I mean, especially for, you know what I'm saying, me and my family, and even, shoot, even for y'all too, but I think most of the time when we, we get in a point of like, we waiting for God to tell us our purpose, or we waiting for God to, man, like, God, what you want me to do, like, God, what you want me to do, and like, I feel like, and I keep saying, I feel like God be waiting on us, but I feel like we, sometimes we be knowing what to do, but we just don't want to do it, one, it's because we kind of keep it a buck sometimes. We get in the lazy mode. And we don't want to go to the well, most. We kind of want God to just give us a million dollars. Give us a billion dollars and not work the fullest to get it. You know what I mean? I think as of sometimes how it be going for real. Like, that's like just the honest. And the laziness. And then also like sometimes we not really fully understand how like God work. You know what I mean? Like we're saying we waiting on God. But then. God could be telling you something totally different or trying to tell you, but we just don't spend time with no more. You know what I mean? We so much into, I don't know, I be watching a lot of sermons, man. Y'all see, I, I, I watched uh, Prophet, I think, I want to say, don't quote me, but Lovey or Lavi or something like that. And I've been watching him a lot. And man, I'm glad I've been watching him. Somebody put me on with that. I appreciate you for doing that, man. You already know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I've been watching his sermons and I feel like Almost every day I've been watching his joints and it be speaking to me, dog. Like it be giving me a whole different perspective. How God work and just how everything be, you know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll be, you know what I'm saying, rocking with his stuff for sure. Or Jerry Flowers I'll be watching too. But yeah, man, I feel like it just be coming down to sometimes effort too. Man, effort in the sense of like, you know what I'm saying, spending time with him or even just, man, I just missed the exit. <laughs> Or even just, you know what I mean? Just even sometimes when we want to like, like I know some people really be stuck of what they want to do, like their purpose or what God should want them to do. You know what I mean? I definitely say keep praying on it, but do more than just praying on it. Like act on stuff, like see what you really like doing. You know what I mean? Like I like doing YouTube. So I be, I pray on it. And even in life talks and stuff like that, I don't just come on the, the thing and just start speaking whatever i just ask you know what i'm saying god the holy spirit shoot use my use my channel to speak you know what i'm saying use me speak through me basically that's what i'm trying to say like speak to me with my channel i'll be praying through that and i'll be doing youtube videos and stuff like that too so and this is something i love doing you feel me so that's what i'll be thinking too man i feel like we be so much like man like so mad at god like man god what like what you move like you know what i mean like this, this, this. Uh, what I meant to say, like, also, too, sometimes we don't want to sacrifice. Like, we can't just say we waiting on God and then, and it's bigger than just mess up. Ain't everybody gonna make mistakes. Everybody gonna go through that thing, but it's the heart behind it. That guy, I feel like God be uh, looking at. I'm saying the, the want to change, you feel me? Like, the wanting to do better, the wanting to, you know what I mean, get away from, like, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the worldly things and stuff like that. It's the wanting. And it's bigger than just, you know what I mean, doing trying to do the right thing every you know what i'm saying like it's bigger than just trying to do the right thing so i can get into heaven oh 
oh god did i do this like did i do this enough right like no nah, god look god i know your heart bro so ain't no fooling god ain't none of that but even myself before like i ain't want to sacrifice a lot of things that god was wanting me to sacrifice but that's what come with it and i feel like the it's more than just, you know what I'm saying, the mess of everybody that messed up, man, in the Bible or even worse, man. God God used people like that. So it ain't nothing about that. They go way deeper than that. Like I said, it's the heart behind it. It's the heart behind it where, you know what I'm saying, you get in prayer. You you ask God, like, God, I don't even want to, I don't want to do this no more, man. Like, how do I get out of this? I'm struggling with this. Like, how do I get out? Ask God, like, stuff like that. Instead of asking God, like, man, bless me with a million dollars, man. Start asking asking God for little stuff like that. What you want me to do with this? Like more than most of the time, we just praying. God, give me a million. God, help me to get this car. I ain't saying none of those bad. He He want us to live like kings, but He trying to do the little smaller stuff. So when you get that type of stuff, come on, man. You gonna know what to do with it. You gonna know how to act with it. You feel me? But if He just flat out just give you this and give you all the a heart to desire, but half of us will lose our mind, man. Straight up. Folks don't want to speak on that though. We just think we just, you know what I'm saying? But that just crossed my mind a little bit, man. Just want to speak on that. Like I said, I'm about to go get these groceries real quick and I'm finna tap into looking at this this road, man. So I know I know my mom don't want me texting and driving, videoing and driving. She want me to be safe, so I'm gonna catch y'all when I get done. I'm gonna show y'all what I'll be getting too. Hopefully they got a lot of fruit and stuff. We're gonna see. Looking spacey up in the coupe, but it feel like a spaceship. I'm floating, I'm faded. You know the vibes. It's love when I slide. Baddie on call, says she f with my type. But I hit the climb, cause I'm one of a kind. I got a queen, and she give me the lotus. It feel like euphoria. Feel like I'm royalty. I need the royalties. Real n with the notary. I work on the form around the ticker to watch like it's for me. Yeah. I'm off that four roses when I'm in the mode. It feel like nobody is cold as me. <laughs> if you talking that real, this love like it's supposed to be. Love like it's supposed to be blessing the people who close to me. Vibe like a rosary. See through these like hosiery. Feel like they to me. Feel like he chosen me. 
God just been holding me, remember them teachers were scolding me Back when the old me was young and depressed, I just wish he could sit down and speak with the older me Gets the control of me, cold as they made me, spiritually old as a baby, I'm feeling the greatest I know that every true soldier gon' get what he told you, don't let them decide what your fate is Faithfully walk through the heat of the flame, when you speak in my name it'll shake Truthfully I'm going ape, about to break the mold like a shape shift I'm um, um, it up like sandwich, are you okay? Working on my tantric hand trick for your host's sake. Stunting like I better be recipe for my own cake. Heavenly, my pedigree better me for my own sake. Bread it up like sandwich. Are you okay? Working on my tantric hand trick for your host's sake. Stunting like I better be recipe for my own cake. Heavenly, my pedigree better me for my own Dog, I ain't gonna care. I don't even think I'm finna do any other workout no more. The crazy part about it, bro, like, I think it's called like isometrics, but you feel the pump way more. Like, you feel your muscles going crazy. Like, you feel more pain going, especially with a resistant band. And then you're gonna have a resistant band, and you're gonna be going slow doing your workout. So, like, I'm talking about slow. Like, on the push ups, I was going five seconds down, pause five seconds, and then five seconds back up. And I only did f literally five reps. And I was gonna keep like, I did that too. So it's five sets. You do that, and then you do the dips. You do five, same thing, five down, and then five up, and then pause. Yo, bro, at the end, you gonna, you know what I'm saying? You gonna feel it for sure. Like, I, <laughs> I would tie it for real. But the, the goal is too, is to kind of do it without taking breaks. You know what I mean? So say for instance, like, I think next time tomorrow, something like that, uh, I'm gonna try to like, just keep keep going, you know what I'm saying? It's, that's the thing with calisthenics, you're trying to go non-stop. So even if you do, you gotta, you gotta do five reps and you only do one, that one rep. Just pause a little bit quick and then go back to it. Then pause a little bit quick, like deep breath, and then go back to it, because you're trying to do it consistent, because you run. Like what they be saying on YouTube, uh, you know, Goku, Goku Pumper Brother Games, they say, just keep doing it, keep doing it. So your muscles can, you know what I'm saying, feel the pain basically, but that's what I did. Feeling good, for sure. And I, to be honest with y'all, I really didn't even want to do the workout. <laughs> like, I did not at all. My mom was telling me like, man, you just do end up doing it tomorrow. Just do it tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> first thing I did, when that started creeping in, those would be the times where you just gotta go ahead and do it. So uh, if, if it's safe and since I was feeling that type of way, I know everybody feel that type of way. Everybody don't want to work out. Sometimes people don't want to work out. But it's the fact that you gotta trick your brain and just go get it done. And my method, what I be doing sometimes is <laughs> keep it a buck. Like I just find a why. Like it sounds corny, but that's what it is. Sometimes I look at a picture of my parents. Sometimes I think of something my parent went through, my dad went through, mom went through, and it's like, why would I? Even, I can't even complain that something little is this. And I just put on some got like some uh, gospel music. You know what I'm saying? Maverick City or just some like. I think this dude called uh, Dappy T Keys Piano Worship. And I just be putting that on, bro. And it just kind of like uplift me for real, for real. And it was so crazy, bro. My mom was like, I was raised up the right way. You know what I'm saying? I thank God for even putting the parents I had. Because my mom used to tell me all the time, I was with me, bro. Every time I always went to like, I always went to rap music. I always went to, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all types of music. You know what I mean? All that music to kind of try to pump me up. And my mom one day told me in the car, she said, Bill, you can't listen to that music all the time. That gets into your spirit, that gets into your soul. And I was just, you know, I was the youngest. So I'm like, man, bro, I don't, I ain't trying to hear nothing. And then she told me that like, you know I'm saying? Worship music will uplift you way more than you think. And then, uh, then listening to this, this type, that type of music. And she wasn't really forcing me or she was not the type of parent to like, yo, stop that, you know what I'm saying? But the stuff that she would say would kind of settle in with me. So sometimes I'll be doing stuff and I'm like, I gotta, nah, I gotta turn this off. You know what I'm saying? So just little, you feel me, little stuff like that, man. I feel, feel like you going a long ways, bro. And it's like, I just be thinking, bro, like, yo, every time I work out, bro, it's, it kind of be, I guess, like, I can't even really explain, bro. Like, just like, I just be thinking, like, when I do stuff like that, I'm killing my old self. You know what I'm saying? So all the temptation, all the, you know what I'm saying, old stuff, every time I be working out, I be, thinking about the old person I was, the old old self, old stuff. And kind of be like, nah, I ain't going back to that. I ain't going back to that. So I just kind of keep it, keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Keep it going. 
and that's really what be on my mind. And just, you know what I mean? Just family, bro. I'm a big family dude, bro. Like, them, my family, my mom, my dad pushed me way more than folks think, bro. Like, I'd have been, <laughs> been through it all, dog. Like, y'all don't even really know. And I feel like I ain't even told my whole story. Y'all just know snippets. There's so much stuff that done went on and ain't no, no brag or ain't no pity party to say, I've been through the worst stuff, man. People, people probably done been through way worse than me. I'm saying I'm just speaking up and telling my story that I, I I don't felt that I don't felt the bottom I don't felt you know what I'm saying like I don't felt that dog and it's like now nah, it's like I don't even want to feel that no more Jesus them been through a lot mine done been through a lot my dad done been through a lot and the thing about them is they was going through stuff and still found the energy to be able to you know what I'm saying take care of us and do these all these you know what I'm saying all the extra stuff that sometimes folks don't even want to be doing you know what I'm saying so I just be keeping that in my mind and just. I mean, let's just keep it. Let's just keep. I got. I gotta see it. I gotta. That's just. That's just what it is, bro. I ain't. And it's more than like. I think people get get so focused on just like money and just. Oh, I just want to have the rich, but bro, I want to do so much. I'm gonna be a millionaire. I'm already. That's already said and done. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Like that's that straight up. I ain't no doubt in it. I ain't doubting myself about that. I'm gonna be a millionaire. It's just the fact that I ask God every day. To, I want to be the right. I want to be the millionaire that's doing it the right way. I'm saying, and I'm not just saying, just giving everybody, just you get money, you get money. It's just more so I, I want to be able to give the right way. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to get, be able to change people. I want to be able to lead people. And I already know God is trying to put me in that position. It's not about me getting all the glory, all the fame, all the fortune. You know what I'm saying? We have, we, we humans, we have, we have that, you know what I'm saying? That type of, you know what I'm saying? Flesh, where sometimes you get into that mess and then you be like, dang, but I do want to do this, but I got all this money I could be doing, you know what I'm saying? But that's where, you know what I'm saying, God come in because he know what we go through. I mean, Jesus know what we go through or the temptations. Jesus was even tempted, you know what I'm saying? But he always kept his focus on right back to God. I mean, and out of the mouth, that's why you got to speak stuff, you know what I'm saying? And not just be closed, a closed mouth. I used to be a closed mouth, but yeah, man, I just, y'all don't even know the how, dog, bro. It's, this story going to be so crazy. It's not even going to be my, it's going to be my story, but it's going to be God's story too. Cause he literally just using me literally like just a father, bro. Like, even though I lost my parents, bro, like this man has been like putting step by step in my life so much, bro. That it's like, it'd be scaring me sometimes. Cause I'd be like, I used to like not doubt this man, but I used to look at him as a, just an Instagram guy. If that makes sense. Like just people who post, like post motivational quotes about God. You know what I'm saying? I used to be on that type of time. My parents wasn't, my mom wasn't, but it's just me how I was thinking. I was just, I'm saying, kind of worldly thinking, but it's just, it's just crazy how this man literally, like, I feel like he just up in heaven with my parents and, like, on some, like, I told you I got him, like, you know what I mean? Like, my mom and dad, my mom used to pray on us so much, bro, and it's like, she would go all out with her prayers. So I already know my God, like, God up there talking about. <laughs> Like, just sit back. Like, he talking to my mom. Like, just sit back and watch this story. You know what I mean? And, bro, he been, man, dog. Y'all just gonna see, bro. Like, bro, God so fire, bro. Like, he's so fire. That one hobby, God is so fire, bro. Like, folk gotta really understand that, bro. Like, God is so fire. But, yeah, man. I, uh, oh, yeah, earlier, too, by the way. Uh, what's it called? I had eight at First Kitchen. And I know y'all probably gonna be like, boy, you just said, you, you know what I'm saying? But only reason why I did it today is cause uh, I was I was on the move so much, so I was getting groceries late. I was doing everything so late, and I didn't really want to lose weight. I'm trying to, you know, I'm not bulk up. I ain't on that type of time, but I want to be able to, you know, what I'm saying keep maintain my weight. So, and the stuff that I, that, I, that I got is not it's not nothing bad at all. I think it's actually good. I just need to start making it at my career. You know what I'm saying? So, what I had was chickpeas. I had uh, kale. I had uh, sweet potatoes with it, uh, basil mushroom. That's pretty much it for real, for real. And they give you like this uh, thing called holy kale sauce. Everything dairy free, everything soy free. It's dang near alkaline food. I'll probably say the oil is probably the, the worst part, but it's olive oil. But it's just when you continue, like you do it consistently, having a lot of oil and stuff in your system is definitely not good, especially cooked foods and stuff too. But yeah, that's what I ate earlier today. And I'm probably going to do a watermelon juice because watermelon is good for like recovery and stuff. So I'm probably gonna uh, make that, but yeah, back to doing the same thing tomorrow. That's the that's the funny and fun thing about it too, bro. You gotta trick your mind again the next day. Then you gotta trick your mind again the next day after that. <laughs> and then the next day you might not wanna do nothing. You gotta trick your mind again.
But the fun thing about it is, is when you rely on God's strength and you think about God, Him giving you the strength every time, and just finding a, like a why, like, man, it's like, nah, stop, bro. And I'm, I'm actually like, I'm, I'm not even trying to go on no rent, but I'm just, it's just crazy, all the stuff I done been through, all the stuff I done, man, I felt like I was a dude every time that something was bad happening. Like, it just kept going, like, wave after wave, wave after wave. And it's like, I, I never, I feel like I ain't never, from since like 2005, I don't think I had to be able to have like a deep breath, if that makes sense. I think the first time in a minute I didn't be able to, like, it feels like I got like a whole weight off my shoulder type of, well, I feel like I ain't saying I'm just, you know what I mean, I don't struggle still, I don't, you know what I'm saying, but it's just, yeah, man. That y'all be crazy, bro. I mean, yeah, for sure. Yeah. 